Hi everyone, you are looking at a design of my own that is a bucking field um, reluctance motor and there you see two identical uh, microwave oven uh, transformers that are going to be shooting at each other the same magnetic field so bucking field obviously and I have a I-core here that is attached to the rotor and that will be attracted in because the amount of flux that each uh, coil will make will be able to store itself without a repelling force. It will be actually attracting. So here is a idea of a motor design of utilizing bucking fields and um, creating uh, work, so a motor action with uh, bucking fields. So I don't know if, uh, I've never seen anything like this, this is my own design, I don't know uh, if it will work or not, and I'm asking for those that are more experienced in it to look at my uh, scope shots and uh, tell me if you think uh, you can see a counter EMF basically trying to navigate a uh, lens by uh, this uh, design or uh, counter EMFs. So basically I have a opto sensor here with a strip that will activate the coil and I have a flyback diode on the uh, coils here so I'm just energizing the primary coils here. Flyback diode is just going back across the coils just shorting the flyback out. Uh, just um, and this is the um, MOSFET circuit that will be uh, pulsing uh, the coil at the OPTO's uh, command. And my scope probes, one of them is across the uh, current sensing resistor here of 0.1 ohm. And that will be on the blue trace on the scope. And my other scope uh, probe is, well both grounds are located right here and the other scope probe is on the uh, positive here going to the coil and that's the battery to operate the circuitry here this circuit and um, these are my meters about 11 volts we're going to be in the range of about 150 milliamps um, this is a still of a uh, last scope uh, shot that I have so there in yellow is the voltage and here in uh, blue is the uh, current sensing resistor and uh, that is the uh, settings here of the uh, voltage divisions on my uh, probes and the probe uh, current sensing resistor probe is on uh, X1 and the voltage probe is on X10 the data there is not going to be really useful because um, it's a very slow uh, pulse so I really can't get real accurate data uh, but from that you should be able to uh, figure out uh, that and um, just trying to see if there's a way that we can determine if there is a uh, counter EMF in this design that's uh, what I'm trying to beat here so I'm going to give this a uh, spin to start it up and now I'm connecting the power and I'll just maybe give it a little bit more of a spin so there it is on its own uh, motoring and that is the uh, voltage and uh, current <clears throat> so when you see the two flashing there or 15 or whatever that is a hundred and some odd milliamps so we're in the 150 milliamp range about uh, having a very difficult time getting a steady reading because of its being just a single pulse and a lot of time in between. So there you see it um, spinning around and it does uh, operate and this is just a prototype and I'm not going to be spinning this very fast because it would be very dangerous and just a proof of concept and uh, would like uh, your help in uh, trying to um, establish here if we do have a, uh, a winner here so I'll uh, reduce my time division there and reduce it one more time 
and one more time again. So obviously you're seeing that if I get multiple pulses there, uh, I'm not going to be able to see uh, anything. And again, now one more time, and now one more time. And finally, now you're seeing multiple pulses, but it's so slim, you can't see anything. So that's why I have it on the uh, expanded uh, view there. So that's it there, quite expanded. And so, anyways, uh, interesting design, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.